Speaking of irritation, uh, you recall I've been uh, talking about this story, NVIDIA trying to acquire ARM, proposing an acquisition of ARM, and how there may be some roadblocks, some government roadblocks, some uh, regulatory bodies that might say, to, might say, hey, get out of my town. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Maybe not in those words, but they may say, look, ARM is a, a UK-based firm, and this is one of our prized mm -hmm. innovative companies, and you come in here and you just gobble them up, and, and then what? You mm -hmm. gobble them up and you leave, don't you? Mm -hmm. And what about all those 3,000 people that are working in Cambridge? Yeah. Where do, what do they do? Yeah. What about the coffee shops that serve them? Mm -hmm. You know, my usual rant on mm -hmm. the ecosystem, the various... Small business. Yeah, I don't have to go into it. Yeah. But anyway, this is how you fix it. You do stuff like this, well. Okay. So you're in video and you start hearing some of that chatter that the UK may step in and not allow for the acquisition. And you say, oh, we're, you know what, UK? Funny, funny you're talking about us. Because you know the other thing we were planning? We were planning on uh, building the biggest supercomputer in all of Britain. And yeah, we were just going to do that. Oh, okay. Then yeah, that's no we're, problem. Yeah, we are just going to, you know, because you're the UK. You, you want to be uh, involved in the tech? Oh. We just, uh, we're just going to plop this supercomputer over here because we're NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. And it's yours. You can have it. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's it. And just the arm thing? It's forgotten. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. The arm thing, we take arm, everything stays the same. You get the supercomputer, it's all good. <laughs> I mean, that's not exactly how it's pitched here, but, no, but. apparently they're going to put a 40 million pound, which is $52 million, uh, supercomputer in Cambridge, England. Cambridge, how convenient. Mm. Location of arm. The supercomputer named Cambridge One is intended for artificial intelligence research in healthcare. Healthcare. UK, you don't like healthcare? Mm. Heard you like healthcare. Yeah. You see how this... this they, yeah, the those are all good words. These, are, these are words. Yeah. These are words. The announcement comes a few weeks after NVIDIA said it intends to buy British rival ARM for $40 billion. You see how this goes well? Mm. You make the acquisition $40 billion, All you got to do is spend $40 million on the supercomputer. Yeah. $40 million, You get the deal done $40 billion. Makes perfect sense. You see that? That's yeah. math, Well, That's all that is. Mm -hmm. You know what shocked me here? They're going to go put a $40 million computer, supercomputer, into the UK, which makes it the fastest supercomputer in the UK. Uh -huh. But it only clocks in at the 20-something fastest in the world. Where oh, it? so it's not the fastest in the world. No, just in the UK. The 29th most powerful computer in the world. Just the most powerful in Britain. 29th? Where are all these things? All this mega computing prowess going on. Yeah. Uh, Who knows? NVIDIA said the supercomputer can be set up in only a matter of weeks, and it will be powered by 80 NVIDIA systems connected together. How about that for an SLI? <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole setup of 3090s. Okay. Ask if NVIDIA expects to generate any re revenue from Cambridge One. Powell told CNBC that Cambridge One is not a commercial endeavor. No, we're not going to make any money from it. Just give us that arm thing. What do you need? How many supercomputers do you need? <laughs> of course, yeah, I'm just putting weird. these words in there. I'm just having some fun with so it. So what is it used for? Just health? Yeah, they would. Uh, it would be research. Research. So you could just you could just plug into this supercomputer and run your various processes. Oh, okay. Your various studies. Your uh, various genome sequencing and so forth no nvidia is working on their ai camera that's all stuff they're just yeah, yeah they lied yeah. no i i don't know i i mean i don't know how to how connected the two things actually are i feel the need to put this disclaimer in there but judging the location of this investment the lack of needing to make to generate any revenue from it most most companies don't spend 52 million and like now nah, we don't need to make any money and the fact that they want to acquire this company based in Cambridge, it just, there's got to be some sort of tie-in. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not.